From this beautiful view, guys. Tourist station. The only kind of ghetto part is they dropped us off right by the trash bins. But aside from that, we are Victoria Station. Really easy. And this is our bus, double decker, one quid sixty-five each. And now I'm going to be meeting a friend from Ukraine that you guys may recognize. Where is she? Hey. Ah! Oh. See you in London. Hi. This is a uh, super big English breakfast. So, what did you have? Uh, I have uh, eggs. Uh, it, thanks, love. Some eggs. Okay. Some royal, royal eggs. Egg, yeah. uh, eggs royale with uh, smoked salmon. Yeah. I have the eggs Betty and a giant for English extra full. <laughs> Special hole. Good luck. <laughs> So we decided to go for a little walk and next to this Westminster church, we have these old brick beautiful buildings. And we have what looks like a Khrushchevka, these old Soviet buildings, with this mosaic here. Marta, what do you, what do you think of this like a gray building? Uh, I think it's quite nice. It's uh, original to its period. And it's not Khrushchevka. <laughs> it's not. And it looks like some like Soviet mosaic it's on the side, uh, isn't it? Before Soviet. Soviet. Pre Soviet? Yeah, yeah. I guess they also had mosaics back then. But it's not Christian. <laughs> it's, 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 it's an insult. Uh, but I like the brick building much more. Uh, by the way, do you see this Uber boat? I wonder if you can call it and say, I want to. I need a taxi. Yeah, yeah. I heard it's very usual here. Yeah. These people spent so much money on this river cruise that they could just take an Uber for way less. How funny is that? Marta! Yes? How does it feel that uh, they support Ukraine? Very warm. Thank you. Great Britain. Diakui. Diakui. And now here we are at the Westminster Abbey. This beautiful church here. How cool is this, guys? Henning Fedding. Look at this old, beautiful bar, the Albert. Goodbye, Marta. Bye. Bye. I see you back in Kiev. Back in Kiev, of course. Okay. Bye Perfect time for dinner dates. Travels zone two to six for 190 off peak. Let's do London. Is it really free to go in? That's amazing. Thank you. Look at that, guys. No queue. Just walk in. Look, that's it. We're in the museum. No queue. No tickets. Walk in and you see thousand year old museum pieces. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, when I heard it was free to come in, I didn't really believe it. I thought there'd be some catch. But when you're in London, visit all the museums, they're basically all for free. 
You've seen Josephine. Furniture from Napoleon's apartments of this. How nice is this, guys? Look at this. It's incredible. That'd be nice in my, my house. So here we have old dresses from uh, Napoleon's Imperial Court. Look how small she is. Must be for a kid. I'm sure just smaller back then. Definitely not the Brits of uh, 2022. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful, guys. Guys, I'm still surprised. It's absolutely free to come in. No tickets required. No wait, nothing. It's like really unique pieces too that I didn't see elsewhere in Paris or anywhere else. You get so close to it too. Look at this. Like, don't touch anything, but I can literally get so close. Guys, look how beautiful this room is. The ceiling. This is like grand entrance. This place isn't as big as like Palace of Versailles, but still, like similar furniture, similar decorations. It's beautiful. Wow. Look at this furniture, guys. Made from. Alright, we decided just to have a bit of coffee as a break. But look how beautiful this cafe is, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. This looks like something from uh, old Thailand or Cambodia. Look how cool these are, guys. Oh, I can't show that on YouTube. Look at this face. So realistic. Here we are, guys. South Asia. So it's cool that there's a few pieces that you're actually invited to touch, which is very uncommon in a museum. So it feels cool to be able to right, touch something that's in the 1500s. Is we're in the China section now. This museum is really cool. It has like a little bit of everything. I honestly I had no idea what to expect. The Albert and Victoria uh, Museum, which doesn't actually mean very much, but this is like World History Museum almost. This is what they call a loaded chair, like a just constructed chair. Another one we can touch. How cool is this, guys? Guys, welcome to the medieval and renaissance period. Wow, guys, how beautiful is this place? I think it's cool they brought these sculptures here, but it's like here, they brought like this whole building. How crazy is that? They brought this into this museum over here. It's like half a building, or at least the front of the building. They brought into this museum. And then we have the pieces here. Guys, look at these fucking columns. How amazing is this, guys? These are copies, but still. Like, I was thinking, how the hell did they bring this into this museum? Like, just to try to give you a scale of how big this is, look at me. And look how small I am. You have to come visit this place. It's amazing. And it just happens to be free. I don't know why, but maybe book a tour or something so you can know more about it. But yeah, it's you have to come. I I almost left London without coming here. I would have been so disappointed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How amazing was that, guys? This is at the actual entrance. We came into the subway. It's actually a hack. We were not one way in line, but there's no line anyways. 
Boy and Abu. Thank you. We didn't pay to get in, guys. They're after us. <laughs> The best thing about being in London is how much authentic Asian food they have. So we are, it's called Four Seasons, and we're having some roast duck and some crispy pork. It's one of my favorite dishes. Let's hope this place is good. Let's take a look. This pork looks very fatty and not that crispy. So we shall see, guys. <laughs> Pork's not good. It's the duck. The duck's not bad. I'll say it's overall pretty good, but the is much better. This has some of this black bean whole fun, which is pretty good. And these vegetables are good too. Pretty popular place here. Man, I really love this like barbecue pork and roast duck. But my, my pork was really fatty, I don't know why. Guys, I love fatty pork, crispy pork. But this was like just fat, no skin, no meat. That was the only thing that made this lose a star. I was really hoping to like it, because everybody was saying that Four Seasons was the best Chinese restaurant in London, maybe. But it's definitely not. Well, I, I haven't been to another one, so. Definitely not the best in the world, so. San Francisco, 10 times better and cheaper. This gets a okay recommendation to me. Not not the best. They need to up their crispy pork game. Look, that one looks good. Mine was all fat. What the fuck? Hello. All right. As you can see, we are back on Museum Road, where all the free museums are. Today we decided to walk above ground. It's a bit nicer. We're going to the Natural History Museum because I'm gonna go see my boy. Ah! Ah! T motherfucking Rex! I don't know why Dippy is the nation's favorite dinosaur, but he's back. Oh la la, nice old Ferrari. Alright guys, here is the entrance. Let's check it out, guys. For the reason you can't just go straight up the stairs, you have to go around. Maybe it's a crowd control, although there's no crowd. But either way, we here. It's hard to align. And it's free to enter. Can you believe that, guys? Here we go, guys. How nice is this? It's, even before you get in, it's old columns. And ooh la la, already, big ass dinosaur. Is that Dippy? Is that boy Dip? Dip and Dot? No, that's a whale. Oh my God, already you see a giraffe. Oh my God, I'm assuming this is real. If I just saw this, I'd be like, this is a dinosaur right here. So guys, tell me, if you didn't see that live giraffe you didn't know giraffes actually existed and you only saw this one on the left what did you assume about the dinosaur it's big as hell like what animal would this be this would be a dinosaur if you didn't know that was a giraffe how crazy is that that too that'd be like some crazy flying animal like that's definitely a dinosaur that's probably a whale or something a dinosaur. No, it's a marlin. It's a like modern day selfish. These are in our oceans right now. If we didn't know this was a modern day fish, we would assume it's a dinosaur. They're big, they have this long crazy nose, a sail on it. Dinosaurs, probably not that different than a lot of the animals we have today. We just think of them as some mystical crazy creature because we always see the, the skeletons. What about this? Is this a modern day elephant or is this like a mammoth? Let's take a look. American Mastodon. 
Ice Age on Twitter. So here's the other confusing part. Was a mammoth from the Ice Age a dinosaur? You guys see the movie, I'm sure. I would say, yeah. Because we don't have any more. But what's the difference between this and the modern day elephant? Except for our tusks are smaller now because poachers. Poachers have literally made tusks smaller because the ones that can reproduce all have small tusks. So this is what a T-Rex and a Triceratops head looks like. So guys, fun fact. We all know T-Rex stands for Tyrannosaurus. How did they really get that name? We got it from the word tyrant. It literally means tyrant lizard. Because at up to 12 meters long, with a mouth like that, definitely can act like a tyrant. Get away with it. So at up to 12 meters long, you can see why this could be a tyrant if it wanted to. Thought your cat had long nails. Imagine this fashion you. So guys, if you notice these feathers on these dinosaurs, it's because dinosaurs are actually related to birds. Or more likely, birds are dinosaurs. Look at this small ass triceratops. And this big ass one here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see the scale of this, but they're huge, absolutely gigantic. Here we have some famous dinosaur discoverers and paleontologists. The only one we're missing is Ross Geller, Dr. Ross Geller. Look at this little sleeping cicatoris. How cute is this thing? Maybe the coolest restaurant in London, guys. But that's not a T Rex. Oh, it's close. And it looks like a crappy cafe inside, right? That's alright. I was hoping that this would be like the coolest restaurant in the world. It'd be worth coming here just to eat here, but it's really not. Here we go, guys. It's Dippity Doo, the UK's favorite dinosaur. So you might be wondering why Dippy is so cool. Well, it does have a long neck like the giraffe or other dinosaurs. Pretty big body, but what it is, is this thin tail. Let's take a look. It's still pretty big. This is like a young adult. And look at this crazy thing right about go up. It's like going into the moon. Hi hey guys, let's go into the moon. I have no idea where this will take me. But here we are. Core, or maybe on Mars. All the minerals here. So 
So what's crazy is a lot of these, what looks like to us just granite and rubble, they're really thousands of years old, if not more. And I think of this thing, this would be a cool countertop when we look into it. It's the vast forces that bend and twist the Earth's surface, according to the photo bands of light and dark material created that the rock was heated and squeezed through the deep underground for thousands of years. So what looks like half the wall, half granite, is actually where the lava would cool. Guys, look at these animals that are extinct nowadays. But this looks like a baby ostrich but with porcupine uh, thorns. And this is like the modern day version of the duckbill platypus but with the porcupine thorns as well. When I look at this, all I think is how much wasted space there is in the middle of the earth that we can be developing real estate in. Let's go to this Japanese supermarket randomly. Guys, sorry but that earthquake exhibit was terrible. I feel more kind of the ground shaking just every day to be in Eastern Europe. Just going into like a cold elevator. And I grew up in California. You know how many big earthquakes we've had? Hell's nothing. I don't know if I was a kid I would find this interesting. But as an adult, I guess it's alright. Look at a different rocks. They probably do this on the beach as well. Exhibit with all the gemstones is magnificent, guys. We've been looking at this for hours now, We're just hanging out here. Highly recommend taking some time. Look at all these beautiful gemstones, but also just reading about them as well. I have about a hundred thousand dollars worth of gems here. The lights off, so I think it's like a flash. What is that, guys? Where else? It would just be dark. What's crazy is this, is quartz. This is what makes that keep time. That heated keeps time. How crazy is that? So I normally don't buy souvenirs from museums, but since it was free to come in, it's kind of like a donation. It's kind of cute. Different gems and rocks. Alright guys, it's pissing down rain again, but it is fun to just wear my rain jacket. We will meet a home man and say our, our goodbyes. He's just in here in this Lebanese grill. Alright guys, we just had a decent lunch with an unnamed friend. Are you complaining again? Should I complain? Why would I complain when Ben from Brighton paid the bill again? I I'm playing this just so you can do a thumbnail out of the last 10 seconds. <laughs> That's enough, guys. That's all we need. <laughs> you, you, you've done your job. Now, now leave. <laughs>